Watch your back. I will be your death! I think the hand is too slow. Even the harvest villain. Probably a miracle. Haven't played against a Rogan sometimes, surprisingly. In fact, I should review what I've played against in general. Well, since I've hit, I believe I started keeping track of stats at around rank 5. I hope you like my invention. Rogue has been really rare. I was like looking, oh, where's the rogues? There haven't been any. It's a different world here. A lot of warlock druid shaman. It's also just variants. This is almost certainly a miracle though. This would be an example of a metagame where Lothed perhaps isn't that good. Perhaps. see very few situations where uh, I actually use deadly poison the next turn with this hand. So I'll attack him for one, which might matter. Gonna run out of ways to buff my Nerubian eggs soon. I think this might be one of the matchups where, no, no, he'll, he'll play a drake someday. I mean, actually, if he had a drake he would have played it there. But he'll eventually have one. I think Here I'll do this. Go. I was thinking of breaking my own egg with the SI7. I should. Ha, this guy's toast. Here I will, just because I need to put pressure on him. Yeah, I mean the egg's kind of anti-area of effect, but Miracle Rogue doesn't have that much area of effect. Outside of the deadly poison blade fairy. That's like the one that they have. And without uh, putting on the pressure, he can just stand around doing nothing. Kind of gotta force him to act, I think. Here we go. Interestingly enough, these saps are kind of playing to my advantage. Since I would otherwise run out of things to do. Of course, he can't know that and probably thinks I am about to burst him or anything, which makes the sapping of the Azure Drake good. He's also slow to. have any plays in this particular game. Which leads me to believe his hand is mostly bursty. Or like just a useless hand of preparations and nothing with no guide zone auctioneer. It happens sometimes. Too bad. Good for me. Watch your back. The light protects me. 
The light protects me. Wait. There's no way that he didn't have one of these Argent Squires on turn one. I, I'm just trying to understand his line of thinking. Was it that if I play an Argent Squire on turn one, then... Wait, no. That... Oh, that was his turn one. Right. One shot, one kill. Right. Okay, his play makes sense. My shield for Argus. My shield for Argus. The Haunted Creeper sure does make Defender of Argus better. And vice versa, the Defender of Argus sure does make Haunted Creeper better. There are a lot of options here. I think that's fun. I was just spending most of that turn trying to figure out something better, but I failed to. There might be something better out there. That would be close. Ha, this guy's toast. Actually, I see something better. No need to clear that. <laughs> oh man. The reasoning being the dagger can get the 2 3 for free. Or a 2-3 can get the 2-1. It's good too. Or I can cold blood and kill the 4-4. Four four. Nah, this is better. Just board control to the uh, utmost. Oftentimes in these board control versus board control matchups, there's just one turn where you have to think hard and get max value. And that can decide games. So the inclination was like play everything, Defender of Argus, Harvest Gloom, but I can spread out my mana and use the hero ability to take out one of their guys. I think that's important for the long run success. No need to clear the golem this turn. And I'll try to lay out the cold blood at a later time. Guards a charge, charge, charge. I have two, four, eight, eleven damage. I'll use this to clear go. this, and then cold blood on two, three, so it doesn't get mortal coiled. This might get hit again. It might draw the doom guard, but I'm looking good. egg into dark iron dwarf but it's against a druid so it's not too exciting but it's an enabler 
it's fine. The ideal hand is just something that you can play a 2, 3, and a 4. And preferably a 1. 1, 2, 3, 4. Think of it as an arena. Okay, start with the creep. Where shall I strike? All right, so ah, that's good for me. Well, eviscerate plus two one. And actually, egg is probably better. I think Argent Commander on that's good. I mean, of course it's good. It's just the question of should I activate the egg instead? The spell damage will allow Wrath to kill this is the problem. Alright. See a Drake commanded. General uh rule of thumb. Clear his board, or yes, clear his board. Don't let the four two get a four four. Okay, this uh, isn't looking bad here. I've got some uh, card draw to keep it going into what looks like turn ten. Uh -oh. Got no removal for that. Egg. All right, something. Or I could just call it blood. Probably. Uh, if I was desperate, egg would be the best play. Now the question is, how bad of a situation do I think I'm in? Can I afford to use my enabler on the? Yeah, I can. All right. I drew a good card. It did. Set me down to 12. The chances that he has the second combo are slim, but are possible. Especially given that play. It's like, yeah, the chances he has it are slim, but because he made that play, the chances that he has another combo in his hand just went up. Which would just be a kind of insane hand. Whatever. I must safeguard the land. My death rattles. Mind if I roll need. Hey, give me a minute. I fight. Oh. Here we go. Where shall I strike? That okay. I must protect the one. Watch your back.
Alright, do I want to play the Haunted Creeper or the Loot Hoarder? There's the chance that he can only use his hero ability, so I'll play this one instead. Would any of the Plague Quarter cards, do I like them? Would I put them in this deck? Well, let's go to the list. Unstable Ghoul, I think that's more for a really big control deck, which actually can take advantage of the Whirlwind effect. Oh, actually, deal one damage to all enemy minions. Wait, I thought it was to all minions. Really? Inside. could have considered cold blooding there, but the silence would be really devastating. I try not to put cold blood on a minion with death rattle. Okay, so it is minions. The thing that I'm looking at is just typed wrong. So unstable ghoul doesn't belong in here. Stone skin gargoyle. I've said I think it's the worst card in Nex. Sludge Belcher, It's the Tazdingo, which costs one more, which also gets a one-two slime with taunt. Uh, that's an interesting card and could be good. Lothab is kind of a game changer. In the right meta. You'll see a lot of Lothab being run, I would think. Uh, this deck would consider running Lothab. Though, it wouldn't be good against a lot of Zune, of course. Duplicate, I think, it is uh, also... Very, very difficult to use. Web Spinner, I think that one's alright. Should see play in Hunter Beastie decks. So all in all, like the big card here is Lothab. I think this is one of the less impactful week releases. Hmm. Uh, one, one of the less impactful quarter of Nax releases. I mean, uh, I mean, there's Lothab and that's like a huge deal. Other than that though. I mean, you can't say other than Lothab, there's no big deal, but Lothab is like the card here. Four seems good because it'll be very incentivized to use the four five, and then I can kill it with my guy. I could play the other, I could play the two two, but I oh know I think that's better since the one damage plus the eviscerate will do the Yetian, and I can still combo eviscerate. Where shall I strike? I should have used the loot hoarder first, although it wouldn't have drawn me the cold blood since I needed to dig two cards in. But I still should have, since that was the initial plan. Well, that's not entirely true, because the plan could have changed based on the card I drew off of Gnomish, but then I only have two mana, so my options are really limited. I must safeguard them. That was pros and cons. Okay, so ideally, I don't use one of these buffs so I can play Nerubian Egg. So it looks like I go, and I want to spend the max mana I can. Nerubian Egg, Dark Iron Dwarf, Cold Blood is my best turn, but it uses all the manas. Or, er, but it uses both Nerubian Egg activators. So I ideally want to use Eviscerate, but I also need to play Egg. Which means I can't play Dark Iron, which means I can play Cold Blood, which means I float two mana. I guess Dark Iron Eviscerate's good enough. Um. It's just I have so many weapon charges. Ugh. This is a tough turn. Not playing the egg sucks, but I couldn't find a way to play it while holding onto an activator. While also playing some stuff. Oh. 
Here we go. Clear this. Makes me not die to the the card. Um I kind of want Arjun Commander to charge into something. Will I be happy if he takes eight damage? We'll go down to thirteen. So many. That'd make options. me somewhat happy. Alright. We'll do that then. To no friend. My eyes are open. Hmm. All right. So everything will be played this turn. Uh, he did not have the combo, so going down to 9 health is basically the same as 14 health. 9 equals 14 against the Druid one, with one card in hand. It's true. Math checks out. Victory. Use this instead of the egg. Here we go. Reason being, Swipe will get rid of his Vine Shield. If I have a 4-4 four, four and a 4-2 of uh, Divine Shield. I think he's played enough keepers, but the games are starting to blend together. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah. Probably means I die the next turn. Here we go. Or maybe he's just trying to top deck something. Yeah, I mean, he couldn't clear this stuff. Makes sense. Good luck, me. I roll. Well played. Watch your back. Well, the good news is I'm learning one thing. Druid is a bad matchup for this deck. Pretty much all forms of Druid, mostly because of Ancient of Lore. Supported with all the other cards. I was thinking about cold blooding this, but I mean I might have to take the risk and do these things. I mean he's I don't want this silenced either, so I could just cold blood that and then he has to choose one. Yeah. Where shall I strike? Had I done that, this turn would be a lot better. Since I could then Defender of Argus trade this in. Hmm. I think I worry about the silenced death rattle with cold blood too much. Uh, but maybe. Mm, mm, meh. My Whatever. Shield for Argus. Still fine. Okay, blade is efficient. Here we go. Now the problem with using the egg here is that the swipe is very good. I could actually go. okay, and and yet I don't want to leave this on the table from the keeper. So the plan is going to be to just send these two guys in. So that puts it into the weapon range and makes the swipe not nearly as good. I must safeguard the land. Here we go. Ha, the 
this guy's toast. I got a blade of sorry, which is nice. I could use it here. That'd basically give me a huge push for this turn's strength. The other play is to harvest gloom, loot hoarder, cold blood. Hmm. Both plays are okay. Go. Option one, hit blade flurry, harvest loot. Option two, these three. All here right, fine. Go. It's not gonna get that much more value. Cold blood could be used for something else. Okay, the board state is, I've got three guys on the board, and I've got one more card once I draw against four cards, so technically I'm up a card, but herein lies the problem. His cards are likely of far higher value than mine are. Where shall I Not too bad. And yet, when I look at this broadly, this is only because he hasn't played any Ancient of Lores yet. Ancient of Lore is such a bad breaker. I mean, when I compare Ancient of Lore with Sprint, so you get your two card draw, so you draw two less cards, which is like the effect of Arcane Intellect. So it's like paying 3 mana for 5-5, five, five. but it's not as easy as that. It's nowhere near as easy, but that's just a quick comparison. Here's where I ran out of fuel, and he's still going. Done. I fight. See if I can crawl to the finish line. Bam! I spent one mana. To be fair, I don't believe I've drawn Azure Drakes or Gnomish Inventors this game. I had to think about that for a moment, but there was no real decision. I don't have the health to kill his minions anymore. Take heart. Your mother is near. Okay, so here we go. Rawr. Well, that was close. Crumble. There. No 